These little buzzes or beepers, as they're also known, are great things to add to any quad. If you have a bit of a crash or a controlled land, as I like to say, in a place where you can't find your quad, you can easily just flick a switch. This will start making a nice loud noise and it'll make it really, really easy to find your quad. Or even if you lose signal completely, your quad should go into fail safe mode and if it's set up correctly, this buzzer will go off automatically. My name is Lockie from Mangle Prop FPV and I'm going to be showing you today how easy it is to set one of these up. Let's waste no time and get straight into it. As you can see on this buzzer, it has two little legs and above one of the legs has a little positive symbol. That indicates obviously this leg is going to be the positive leg and the other one will be the negative. As you can see, this is our flight controller and it's got two little pads just there that say buzzer. On the right, or furthest away from me, is the positive one. As you can see, there's a little tiny positive sign there. And on the other side, there's also a negative. All you would need to do is very simply solder up those corresponding wires. Before I begin, I'm going to remove this standoff and also the flight controller nut, just so that they don't get in the way. All we're gonna do is we're just gonna solder these two up to the corresponding pads. That should take no time at all. Now that I've soldered up this buzzer, let's plug it into Betaflight and set it up from there. So inside of Betaflight, let's plug our cord in. So inside of Betaflight, let's go to configuration. Let's scroll down to beeper, config, that sort of stuff. And you can see these are all the times that my beeper is going to beep. You can turn these on and off as you want. And once you've done that, make sure to come down and hit save and reboot. If you want to set your buzzer on a switch, which is super easy, all you want to do is go to modes. You want to find beeper. There it is and you want to set that to whatever auxiliary switch you've set up. For me, I've set up auxiliary 3, and then you can move the slider as you will. Once you've set up your auxiliary switch and move the slider to where you want it to be, just hit save, EEPROM saved, then you want to disconnect and we will test it from there, see if it works. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be testing everything. So I'm just going to get a lipo that I've got, plug in my quad. You can hear when the ESC started up, there was also a bit of a beep. And now if I flick a switch on my trusty radio, my free sky terrace. Works very well. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to arm up the quad and then switch off my radio to see if the failsafe works. We'll know if the failsafe works if the motors stop and the beeper starts beeping. Perfect. So this pretty much concludes the video on how to install a buzzer. If you enjoyed the video or you learned how to put in your very own buzzer, definitely make sure to subscribe and like as it helps the channel out. As always, thanks for watching. I have just finished filming the outro for my buzzer video. Take a look at this bench. There is stuff everywhere. Anyway, see ya.